out to make the best blades, how you gonna prove it? It's a torture test and I love doing this test. How about a time test? Or chopping through a car? We'll see it all on a visit to the Linux factory next. Now, if you want to get aggressive with your recips, uh, you got to have some good blades. Linux makes some of the toughest ones on the market, and they're out to prove it with an amazing hack job. Yeah, that's a good thing. There ain't much the Linux blades can't hack. From band saws and hole saws to recip blades and hack saws, Linux is all about making the cut. We make saw blades is really what we do. And so if we're not the best, and we all know this, we're done. At Linux headquarters in East Longmeadow, Massachusetts, they manufacture thousands of blades every year. And people like Doug Fosberg put them to the test every day. I'm a research and development technician. We try to innovate and make our blades better to become the best blades on the market. To test the Linux Recip blade against the competition, they time a cut through a mix of pipe, angle iron, and steel bar. It's a torture test, and I love doing this test. We're trying to be fast, quick, smooth, and long-lasting. Everything an end user looks for. It takes the Linux blade 36 seconds to make it through. That's a good time. That's a good time. But with another blade, let's see what happens in the same time. We got in about that far. That's not good, is it? So what's the lesson here? You can learn that one, Linux technology with the gold tooth form makes it uh, run cooler, the teeth last longer. The competitors can't seem to match up to this type of technology that we provide here. This blade is done. It can't make it through. And that's the torture test. Not a bad way to make a living. I love it. <laughs> I love doing this. This is fun. So what makes Linux blades so strong? It all starts with two strips of metal. We have two steels, high-speed steel and spring steel, so when it comes out on the other side, those both steels are welded together. The bands of steel are then stacked 40 high and are cut with teeth. We have a titanium nitride milling cutter, and it's slowly working its way up the stock and putting teeth in all of the material. To keep the blade from binding, the teeth are offset to make a wider cut. Well, what we have is carbide setting blocks and they're on an angle, and they're actually taking the teeth and actually put them to the left and the right. So you're making a wider curve or clearance for the back of the blade. Then the bands are cut into individual blades. After the coil goes through this machine and punches off, it punches a blade like this. And then we'll take these blades and put them into a furnace. Cooked to over 2,100 degrees Fahrenheit, the blades are hardened and nearly ready to use. The last step of the process is painting each blade, stamping it with a label, and packaging it. To prove how tough their blades are, they plan to cut a car in half, courtesy of Hackman. Hackman's a legend. Around here, you know, he's our celebrity. Spokesman Lee Britton, both yaks. This is a job for the Hackman. And hacks for Linux. He attacks an auto body with a Linux blade. And in just over a minute and a half, take a look. This once whole car is in two pieces. A job well done for Linux recip blades and another accomplishment for the Hackman. Whether it's testing, manufacturing, or just hacking, Linux has got saw blades down. Cutting a car in half, that's just kid stuff. The Hackman's also powered through a bus, a freight train, and a house.